Okay, uh, Texas Panhandle is getting harped um, quite heavily this morning. Um, so I just wanted to show what the signal is looking like right now. And, you know, it strikes me as uh, that this modulation, this is not just a ham radio signal. This is, uh, this is enough power being broadcast to run a small city. So this is probably a way to open up the ionosphere or the uh, F1 and F2 layers to actually create a waveguide in the ionosphere. So that's what probably a lot of this weird modulation is. But you can kind of see that, you know, there's a pulse and a pulse and a pulse. Let's measure the frequency here. <clears throat> Like here's a pulse, and measure the same spot on another pulse, and it's uh, 11 kilohertz. Look at that. It's not very fast. And then the frequency inside there is 55 kilohertz, or thereabouts, 50 kilohertz maybe. Let me stretch it out a little. Okay, so we're looking 48 kilohertz, and then the, the pulse is repeating at a frequency of 9.5. Okay, so the pulse repeats at a frequency of about 9 kilohertz. So that's just really odd and strange, and, and then we've Look in here, and we can see, you know, more amplitude modulation. And I just, it's sort of too high of a frequency to measure on this scope. And plus, you know, this coil has a lot of inductance. So this could be a very large RF signal, but this coil is just not designed to pick up a signal that a frequency that high because of the large inductance. Also I have found that if you if you aim your coil straight up you'll get a lot better signal. This harp signal is actually it's not north, it's not east, it's straight up. Uh, so it's vertically polarized in other words kinda like uh, CB radio or something. Well, it looks like 125 megahertz. Ooh, no kidding. If this scope... Something like around 100 megahertz. No kidding. Of course, I can't really measure that. It's right at the uh, sample, upper sample uh, frequency of this scope. But I'm telling you, that looks like a some kind of a deliberate modulation pattern that is um, it's it's not transmitting data because look it's just repeating and it's in the kilohertz range so whatever they're trying to affect is got some mass to it like you know the upper atmosphere but uh, I'm, I'm seeing the signal strong today and it's uh, you know, also, we're predicted for more rain this afternoon and a bunch of rain tomorrow. So they are heating the ionosphere and causing that, that sudden pulse of pressure high up to be trans, translated to uh, descending dry air at the surface, which then shuts off the rain. So this is the harp signal, I believe. I believe that's it. Just a really strange modulation. Look at that. Maybe if I blow this up a little, we can see it better. Look at that thing. That's just. It's uh. It's 
sort of, I, I wonder if there's a phase reversal here. It kind of looks like there might be a phase reversal. In which case, these are all phased pulses. It's like I was saying, I mean, this. some of these pulses could be used to open a channel in the ionosphere to transmit to where you want the, the uh, power to go. And then other pulses could be used to actually tran uh, transfer the energy and do the heating. So obviously there's a lot of interesting physics and a couple decades of research has gone into this to get it to work. But you know they could change their software and make it rain one inch everywhere in the United States every week. I mean they could schedule you know Thursday you get a half inch, Saturday night you get a half inch that's the capability they have here and instead they're just creating drought to to uh, destroy the food supply and make everybody desperate and to melt the arctic methane okay please uh, build your own coil you know a pound of 36 gauge wire just hook it up to O-scope and you're gonna see this thanks